Hi yogis, welcome to the Feel Good Hatha Yoga Routine. We're going to begin on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. So just bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees fall open, and completely relax. The postures we'll practice today will all be long holds. So you're more than welcome to wiggle and move around a little within each posture to explore the pose, stretch, or just make it your own. Otherwise, just completely relax, let your body soften, and stay present. Draw your navel in to engage your core and pull your knees back together. Place your right ankle above your left knee in a figure four position. You can stay here or go deeper by interlacing your hands underneath your left shin or thigh. This kind of pose can be hard on your knees, so make sure that your right toes are flexing back to engage and protect the muscles around your knee joint. And sometimes it can take a minute for the deep connective tissues to soften. So just relax here. So just relax what you can and deepen your breath. Gently release and switch sides. Place your left ankle on your right knee. Flex your left toes the entire time and take this as deep as you did on the other side. Relax your shoulders, the muscles in your face, even your jaw. And focus on breathing deep and slow to encourage your hips to soften. Slowly release for happy baby pose. Thread your hands through your knees to grab the inner arches of your feet. Spread your ankles open and try to ground down through your hips and shoulders. Add any movement that might feel good for you. Release your feet, pull your knees into your chest, and rock and roll front and back to gain enough momentum to stand in a deep forward fold. Ragdoll pose. Separate your feet a little wider than hip distance. Bend your knees so you can hinge deeply from your hips and grab your elbows. The idea here is that your upper body is hanging heavy and limp like a ragdoll. So as you breathe, let the tension melt off your back. Release your elbows, toe heel your feet together to touch, bend your knees and push your hips back like you're going to sit in a chair. Then reach your arms overhead in line with your spine for chair pose. Firm up your thighs and bring the power to your legs by shifting some weight into your heels, then sit back a couple inches deeper. Keep your thighs pressing together and relax your shoulders. This pose is warming up the muscles in your legs, preparing them for deeper openings to come. So just deepen your breath. Now forward fold. From your fold, step your left foot back, maybe three or four feet. Spin your back heel down and rise up into warrior one with the shorter stance. Try turning your back toes in and rotate your right hip back, left hip forward. Bring your hands together to touch overhead and sink deeper into your front knee as you extend from your back heel up through your fingertips. To emphasize the length that you're creating, try a mini back bend and deepen your breath.
release your hands and fold over your right leg for pyramid pose. Try to straighten out your right leg. If that's a challenge, then step your back foot in a couple extra inches. This is going to be intense no matter what, so let your head hang heavy, relax your shoulders, push your right hip back, left hip forward, and deepen your breath. Plant your left hand on fingertips or on a prop and reach your right hand up for revolved triangle. If you're really tight, chances are your right hip is curling in, so push it back. Lengthen your spine and try to stack your shoulders. And no matter how intense these poses get, remember, you're always in control. So keep your breath calm and deep. Lower your right hand down and launch into standing splits with your left foot up in the air. Try to keep your hips square and closed, even if it means your leg doesn't get as high. It's proper form and it will make for a really good progress picture. Hang heavy through the crown of your head. Now lower your left leg down to meet your right in a forward fold at the top of your mat and switch sides. Step your right foot back about three or four feet, spin your right heel down and rise up into warrior one pose. Set it up strong with your back toes turning in, rotate your hips so your left hip pushes back, right hip forward. Bring your hands together overhead to emphasize the extension as you sink a little bit deeper into your front knee. For pyramid pose, fold over your front leg and lower both hands down to the mat to support you as you straighten out your left leg. If you stepped your back foot on the other side, do so here. Deepen your breath and square off your hips, pushing your left hip back, right hip forward. For revolved triangle, plant your right hand on fingertips or on your prop and reach your left hand high. Lengthen your spine all the way through the crown of your head and push your left hip back if it's curling in. Maintain a calming, deep, controlled breath. Now lower your left hand and for standing splits, reach your right leg up into the air while folding your torso down to the ground, like you were trying to get your forehead to your shin. You can always go a little deeper by shifting some weight into the ball mount of your left foot, but try to keep your hips square. Great. Lower your right leg down to meet your left in forward fold. Then sit back into chair pose. Sit deep to build heat. Your breath can be a tool to help you stay focused and present when you're sitting in postures. If you're thinking about something else off the mat, then you're really just exercising. The real yoga is done when you're present. Forward fold and step your left foot back. Then lower your back knee down for crescent moon. Reach your arms up and engage your legs like you're trying to pull your front heel and back knee together. With this engagement, you can take your hands to your front knee and focus on opening up through your left hip flexor, or add a chest expansion by interlacing your hands behind your lower back and lifting up through your heart. Deep breaths wherever you are. Release, and plant your left hand on the upper left-hand corner of your mat. Lift your back knee up, and for the booty drop, rotate your left hip down to the mat as you track your right knee open and spiral your weight onto the pinky side edge of your right foot. 
you can rest your right hand on your right thigh, and this should feel really good. If it doesn't, there's a modification on screen that you can take instead. Do only what works for you and forget the rest. From here, slowly rotate back into a low lunge. Plant your right hand on fingertips inside of your right ankle and spin your back heel down. Reach your left hand up for a very deep version of extended side angle. Try to flatten out your hips and chest by tucking your hips under and leaning back into your upper back. But if you'd like to modify, it's on screen. Sometimes lifting up a little bit higher can make it easier to tuck your hips under. Release your left hand down, step your back foot forward to switch sides. Step your right foot back. Then lower your right knee down for crescent moon. Engage your legs like you're trying to scissor your inner thighs together. This helps stabilize through your lower back. Then take the same arm variation that you did on the other side. Breathe deep as you create space in your right hip flexor. Mindfully release and plant your right hand on the upper right corner of your mat. Lift your back knee and rotate your hips so your right thigh lowers and your left knee opens. The weight will spiral to the outside edge of your left foot. Only do this if it feels good. Otherwise, take the same variation that you did on the other side. Make your way back to your low lunge, then plant your left hand on fingertips inside of your left ankle. Spin your right heel back down and for a deep extended side angle, reach your right arm up. Whether you stay here or you modified, tuck your hip under and lean back into your right shoulder blade. Take both hands back down to your mat and step your right foot forward to meet your left, then lower down to stand on your knees for camel pose. Separate your knees a couple of inches, about hip distance. Take your hands to your lower back and tuck your tailbone under and forward. Inhale to lift your chin and chest. Exhale to slowly melt your shoulders back, bending into your upper back. Stay right here and breathe if you're still a bit new to back bends. If you're ready to go deeper, try a half camel or full camel variation. Everybody gently come out and take a seat on your heels. Hands to heart center for a deep, calming breath. Swing your legs around in front of you for staff pose. Reach your arms overhead and inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right and lower your hands to assist your twist. Inhale, come back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the left and lower your hands. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold and let your head hang heavy and hold. Rise up, and for reverse tabletop, plant your feet flat on the mat, plant your hands behind you, lift your hips and open through your chest and shoulders. Lower down and take a seat. That's it for today's feel good, hip opening, hatha yoga routine. Check out my seven day yoga challenge playlist for a yoga routine for each day of the week. If you're on Instagram and wanna take a seven day yoga challenge for yourself, Post a picture of your standing splits with the hashtag. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and share my YouTube channel so others can join in. Subscribe for weekly uploads, or if you're not a big YouTuber, sign up for my newsletter for exclusive coupons, updates, and recaps of the last month's theme and videos.
See you tomorrow.